Hello, welcome to the car. My name is Aziz, I am 27 and uh, I was born and bred here. I'm a pure product of the local environment. Um, I left when I was 19 in 2009 and came back in 2013 at the age of 23 to rediscover a, a city full of energy. So roughly two out of three people um, in the country are below the age of 25. So, so very youthful uh, country and very youthful city full of energy and a city that's extremely creative as well and uh, I wanted to be part of this energy and I wanted to be part of that creation and uh, I was able to get involved through something that I've been involved in my whole career and that is incubation and acceleration and just helping young entrepreneurs find their ways. So my name is Dudu Jain, I'm one of the founding members of Impact Dakar. I'm mapping the team regarding the financial and real estate aspect of the app. So I'm very excited about uh, the experience to provide a better and creative uh, environment to, the, to our community of entrepreneurs. So as you may know, uh, Africa has a lot of very good entrepreneurs, but the lack of the resources necessary to develop their idea into a real business. So our goal as Africans and individuals is to give them the tools to fulfill their dreams. My name is Maggi Sok. I'm a partner with Dahlberg Advisors. Uh, to me, Dakar means a lot of innovation. It means an amazing energy. Uh, and being Senegalese almost is uh, equal to being an entrepreneur. Every Senegalese you will see has a lot of ideas, a lot of energy, and just waiting for the opportunity to bring the two together. I mean, Senegal, it's, a, it's an incredible country to, to live in and to work in, um, especially because you have a lot of talented people. Uh, from all over West Africa, which is uh, very enriching. Uh, and notably in the technology field, you have a lot of brilliant developers, few designers, and we aim at creating more of them, working with developers and the tech community. Uh, but no, it's definitely an interesting place to, to start a company. Uh, it's also a good place to, to expand uh, to other West African countries. Uh, it's a good base. Today, Dakar is probably one of the cities where young women are very, very involved in the ICT space. Uh, so we want to make sure all the women entrepreneurs in Senegal see Impact Dakar as a home and where we can develop these beautiful business champions that are also, um, that also support or encourage other young girls who want to start their businesses to see that it's feasible and to have a space where they can engage with other women who are role models, uh, men as coaches, uh, but making sure they see themselves as part of the bigger ambitions, bigger businesses, uh, bigger ideas to solve some of our private sector development challenges. Um, Senegalese women have been entrepreneurs for as long as we know, uh, whether it's in trade, uh, whether it's in um, food, the food sector, and so many other aspects of our economy. We want this fantastic group of actors to be able to bring also financing and to grow some of the firms we work with into national champions. At this point, what I'm very, very passionate about is allowing uh, the youth uh, to get involved in entrepreneurship and in the creative industries in a cohesive manner, in a structured manner, and as part of a uh, what, what I would call the next wave. So you've probably heard about Yusundur, you know about Yusundur, phenomenal artist, you know about the Haji Youth, you know about you know, a bunch of young people that took matters into their own hands and you know, created, created movements basically. And what um, we're really passionate about right now at Impact Dakar is that uh, we're looking at opportunities to uh, benefit from all the creation and the, the energy that, that are you know, rampant uh, in, the, in, the, in the place at the moment and to just you know, find a way to, to, to get to connect um, all the actors uh, producing all that energy and uh, allow them to come up with something cohesive, with some togetherness and to create the next wave of entrepreneurs, creative artists, leaders and you know, hubs are a crucial and uh, important way to, to, to get that going. In Dakar there is already a startup ecosystem that's, that's alive with actors waxing and waning and their, their uh, popularity but um, there is one, one thing that is uh, very much perfectible is our connection with the global entrepreneurship uh, ecosystem in the world. And that is something that we're not good at. I think one of the reasons is being Francophone speaking. 
uh, there's that uh, link with the language that needs to be bridged, but that's also starting to, 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 to happen. And um, if we can have that link between our ecosystem and the more global one, it would be very interesting for entrepreneurs here and also for entrepreneurs from the world because there's a lot of opportunities here and we want people to see that. What we hope to bring to our, our country and the entrepreneurship ecosystem uh, is to bring together stakeholders either within a value chain or a group of actors to work together. When you're starting a business in Dakar, you will find yourself being a master of all tasks from taking your energy, your idea and your business to where it needs to be, uh, but also engaging in a lot of the logistical aspects uh, in terms of branding, in terms of operations, and sometimes you even have to reinvent yourself as a legal advisor. So our objective is really to bring all these skills together in a common space and build these ecosystems. We feel that we're ready, uh, you know, we, most of us have been involved in that kind of work for a long time and uh, we, we're ready to uh, navigate through this very difficult environment and uh, we're hoping to do it with the Impact Hub Network which has the experience, obviously, not only experience in creating change, but also in creating change in places where it's very difficult uh, to create change. So we're hoping to collaborate with you and uh, to have you on board in collaborating with uh, you know, the wonderful uh, Dakar entrepreneurial and creative ecosystem. I think the goal isn't to be supported long term forever. We don't want to be incubated for years. We favor short term, mid term support perhaps, three, six, maybe 12 months maximum. And then let's see how incubators can build relationships with investment funds and seed funds organizations to allow startups which are in these ecosystems and innovation labs to take off. Uh, welcome to uh, Impact Hub. Donc, uh, nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue à Dakar. So welcome to Impact Hub and uh, we want to see you here as soon as possible. Absolutely, welcome. You, you need to come. I mean, it's very important that we have international actors like you. Welcome Impact Hub Dakar.